So in this uh, next practice task, we're going to try to build up uh, on the previous one. Uh, and in particular, we are going to play around with the data that we've imported uh, and manipulate it somehow uh, to get more information from it, more meaningful information from it. Uh, so, so for this particular task, that meaning information that we want to derive uh, after manipulating that imported data is to actually compute the daily increase in cases uh, from April 1st uh, all the way up to August 15, 2020. So what do I mean by daily increase? Um, so for instance, the daily increase on April 1st, 2020 is going to be equal to the number of cases that were reported on that particular day minus the number of cases um, that were reported in the previous day. So once you compute this daily increase, that gives you a general idea of whether, uh, th whether there's an increasing spread um, in, in, in the pandemic or there's a decreasing spread in that pandemic, right? Um, so this is what we're going to try to do. So the first thing, so I've, I've used the text, uh, text mode here to enter the statement already. And this is the text, this is the code module now. Uh, and for this uh, module, for this code, uh, what I am going to do is to uh, follow a trick that the power of MATLAB allows me to do. Um, so as you would have could have imagined in order to compute the daily increases, what you really need to do is for each and every one of the days from April 1st to, to August 15th, you need to subtract uh, the number of cases from the previous day. So it's like a, it's like an iteration. So you have to do it each for each and every one of those, um, those how many? Uh, 137 days, right? But MATLAB allows you to do that in, you know, in a one shot manner uh, because it it can process arrays. Uh, it, it works with matrices and that's why it's called MATLAB, by the way. Um, so I am going to define, so the trick I'm gonna use is by defining a new variable uh, called, uh, called data previous. And let me use dates, uh, data all. So remember this was a data starting all the way up from, from January uh, 22nd all the way up to August uh, 20, uh, August 15th. Uh, however, in extracting it, instead of starting from 71, if I subtract it, if I extract it from the index 70, so remember the index 71 corresponded to uh, April 1st. So therefore the index 70 in that original data is going to correspond to the date of uh, March 31st. And then I will go all the way up to uh, end minus one, right? So the last entry within uh, this element or within this matrix or this array is going to correspond to the number of cases that were reported on August 14th, 2020, right? And so if I just let me uh, press F5 uh, to run this and you see this is another variable that I now get, which is also of the length 137. So let me open this up uh, for some visualization and let me uh, open this data as well, right? So though both these variables are of the same length. And so the first element inside of data actually corresponds to the number of cases uh, reported on April 1st. This is April 2nd, this is April 3rd and so on and so forth. And the reason why I know this is because that's how I've extracted it, right? So this is something I know that's something in my mind, right? And data previous, on the other hand, uh, because I've started it from March 31st, so this is the number of cases that were reported on March 31st, uh, 2020. And this 303 is the number of cases reported on April 1st. Remember, this is April 1st, this is April 2nd, but this data previous is just shifted by one. Um, then, so, so this is April, this is March 31st, this is April 1st, this is April 2nd, April 3rd, and so on and so forth. Um, and all the way up to the last entry, which is 137, this actually corresponds to uh, August 14th, 2020, whereas the last entry of data corresponds to April 15th, 2020. So you see, so there's in one on one, if I put these two arrays together next to each other, uh, the 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 number of cases reported for the particular index um, in data and in data previous is off by uh, one particular day, one exactly one day, right? 
So I can use this. So let me close this. And let me close this as well. Right. So I can say that the daily increase, which is another variable, that is just equal to data minus data previous. Right. And this does element by element subtraction of the two arrays, uh, which gives you the required daily increase result, right? So I can here uh, for visualization, plot this daily increase. So it stem dates on the, on the x-axis and daily increase on the y-axis. And let me once again use the red color dot dash just means the line that I want. Um, and let me use a figure here so that I'm working with a new figure. Um, and the title could be uh, the increase in cases. Um, and the X label and Y label, you can, you can pick them up appropriately. Um, so let me not spend time on that. So, so if I run this, so this is the daily increase in cases, all in red, all in red, okay? So let me pop this up, pop this out, and right. So this is a little bigger, and see. So there's some days in which there was an increase, there's some other days in which there was a decrease. You can do a lot more with this, and we're not doing it here yet. But you can you can find trends. You can smooth this out and then see uh, what days or what period of time were we in, in trouble when the number of cases were increasing on average uh, or when the number of cases were decreasing on average. So there's a lot more you can do and that we leave that up uh, to later, uh, later labs. Okay, so now we're gonna build on top of what we're done, uh, what we've done even further. Um, and so specifically what we're gonna do is, is a is a visualization of these daily increases in a particular fashion. So you're required to, for example, present it to a decision maker. And the way you want to present it is you need to identify the days on which the increase was positive, and you need to identify the other days on which the increase was, was negative. Uh, in other words, the case decreases, decrease, and you need to visualize them in a certain manner. So all of the case, all of the days on which the increase was positive, you need to plot that in red, and all of the days on which the the, the increase was, was negative, you need to plot that in blue, right? So for this, I will rely on the concepts that you would have covered in the logical indexing section of the MATLAB uh, on-ramp course that you would have done already. Um, so I am going to define a variable. I'm going to define a variable dates minus, and this is meant to contain all of the dates on which the daily increase was negative. And the way I pick that up is I just go and work with the dates vector. And in the logical indexing operation, I just specify daily increase is less than zero. So what this will do is it will find out the indices for which the daily increase is negative. And for those indices, it will extract uh, the that specific dates and put them into uh, the vector dates minus. I can define another vector which is dates plus similarly and this is going to be dates daily increase is greater than zero and or actually greater than equal to zero. So this also includes the possibility in which there was no change uh, from the previous day and all of those uh, dates are going to be put into a vector or, or a variable called dates plus uh, i can define uh, data um, so uh, data plus so this will include uh, the the daily case in daily increase case data for those dates in which the daily uh, increase was positive um, so I will work with daily increase, right? And daily increase is greater than or equal to zero. So in other words, this variable after it's executed is now going to contain an array 
uh, of all of the daily increase data in which the the, the this, these were, were positive data okay so it's going to pick them up uh, search them and pick them up uh, similarly data minus uh, i can do the same thing here with daily increase um, daily increase is less than zero right so i have all the data now i can go ahead and plot it so so i can figure open up a new figure then stem and dates minus and data minus and this needs to be plotted in blue so the, for all those cases when the daily increase was negative i need to plot this in blue so this is uh, dot dash here and then because i need to plot another curve on the same figure so i will use hold on and then do the stem so this is dates plus and this is data plus and this is supposed to be in red okay i can run this code now to show you what we get right so here's here's the data that we get uh we've not defined the legend let me define the legend first uh so legend uh, because the first thing i use is for the minus thing here so i can say so uh this is uh, negative daily increase and the other is positive daily increase All right so this is the legend um, and you can define the labels appropriately i'm not going to do them here you can also define a title uh, i'd encourage you to do that uh, for all your figures uh, i'm not doing it here uh, in the interest of time so this is the data that you have right so let me pop this out and try to increase the size of this window so here's that data see and this is a nice visualization uh, identifying the dates on which the cases increase and identifying the dates for example on which the cases uh, decrease and once again uh you will be able to do a lot more uh, with this as well but we're gonna stop here all right now there's 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 there are other things you can do um so let me just quickly so let's say somebody asks you um so so let's say somebody asks you let me put up a text here this is practice task to see and determine the number of days uh, from April 1st to August 15th, 2020, in which the daily increase was positive. And somebody asked you to uh, find out what this is. That's pretty straightforward. So let me put this up in bold. Uh, let me go back to the code. And all I will do is uh, for this is okay um so number equals if i say daily increase is greater than zero right and so let me know so if i just use this daily increase is greater than zero it's going to compare each and every one of the uh, data points inside daily increase and then it's going to compare with zero whenever it's greater than zero is going to put up a one there right so let me put this in our test right and let me not use a semicolon here just to illustrate what this does All right so it's, it's a bunch of ones and zeros and wherever you get a one that's actually the index where the daily increase was greater than zero wherever you have a zero that's where the the index was actually either less than zero or equal to zero and if i were to find the number of days on which this was this daily increase was positive all i do is i just say some test and this is the number of days so see so the from april 1st to august 15 2020 somebody asks you how make any how many days were there in that entire period in which the case increased uh, the case load increased from the previous day and you would be able to answer them through 71 such days and of course um, that where the number of cases were were 
but um, the increase was either equal to zero or less than zero that's just 137 uh, minus 70 and so finally a very very simple task um, and so if somebody asks you what is the average number of uh, daily cases uh, that are reported uh, in Pakistan uh, from April 1st to August 15th, 2020. Um, so I will just use uh, variable average cases and I will find the, all I need to do is I need to pick up the data or relevant data. And remember, this is the data, which was the number of confirmed cases from April 1st to August 15th. And I just need to find the mean or the average value of, of, of this array. Uh, one of the ways I can do it really, really um, simply, quickly is just to use the mean command, um, and this computes the mean already, right? So what it does is that this mean command sums up all of the elements in that array, and it divides by the number of, of elements in that array, and that's going to give you the mean. So let me uh, run this entire code. Um, and so the average cases that were reported in Pakistan, the average daily cases reported in Pakistan from April 1st to August 15th is 2,084.5 cases uh, daily. Um, so that seems pretty scary, uh, but inshallah it's gonna, uh, you, you, you can compute the other averages. So for example, what is the average number of cases reported um, in April for that matter, or, or in, then in May and then in June, uh, and then in July, and then in August. So that could be an interesting exercise. Um, let's see if somebody can, can try that out.